just tell us a little bit about the book and how the experience was, I guess, documenting what was yeah. a memorable season for the club. Yeah, let me first say, uh, if there was one season we we uh, we uh, uh, it was the right one to do, it was last season. So 63 games, incredible hard season in terms of uh, the amount of games coming and uh, being in so many finals and preparing so many finals. And yeah, the, um, the important thing was that uh, nobody knew about only uh, James, of course, the co-writer and uh, Jurgen, Mike Gordon. Billy Hogan, and for the rest, because it had to be authentic, it had to be pure. It's, uh, it's a tribute to the club, it's a tribute to the relationship of the team with the fans. It's a tribute to all the special games we already had, and um, uh, it's really cool and really, really nice that it's documented. Yeah. One of the great things about this club at the moment is that link between supporters yeah. and the players and, and the staff. Do you believe, though, that this is, will bring them closer? Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the reason why we made it, of course. But uh, um, it's uh, I hope that uh, when the fans read it, that they get a little bit more proud, that they um, that they get a little bit more insight, that they see the game in a little different way when they're sitting in the stands. When they that they cheer a little bit harder because they knew that how important they are to us, and that um, that you never have that they never underestimate their importance, and that uh, that they cherish this part, this part of Liverpool Football Club, this era, because we are on a special ride together, and um, um, yeah, we have to what I said, we have to cherish that. You say it's a special era. It Obviously, Sadio has left, and yeah. there will always be changes at a club like this. But there does seem to be momentum. Uh, Darwin's come in, and yeah. it, uh, when you reflect on last season and at the start of the next one, how do you feel the squad shaping up in the club? Ah, we're really happy with uh, with the business we did, and uh, we're really happy with uh, the players we have. And if one thing Liverpool Football Club showed in the past and now is that our players will become better. So our young players will become better, our older players will become better, and um, um, and um, that together uh, they can be they be, they can they can become unbeatable and uh, as long as they play with that mindset and with this fight and this hunger to fight for each other, uh, the future looks really bright. How do you see the battle with Manchester City this season? Because I guess if there's one thing that you could slightly change last season is those draws against top four rivals yeah. into wins. But other than that, there's not much you can do against a, a two clubs when they're playing at such a high level. Yeah, the, the good thing is that uh, uh, that the, if you read through the book, um, you will see how much time I come back to creating this winning mentality inside the club, uh, where the team and staff and they only see the next game. And in this case now it's Fulham, and uh, we're really preparing Fulham as a final, uh, maybe an even bigger final as the as the Community Shield. And this mentality makes us us that we don't look further ahead. And of course. Uh, we can speak a lot about what happened in these games and, um, and where we can improve, but that's not important now. Now it's important that uh, we prepare as well as possible for Fulham and that we see that as a cup final. Jürgen obviously wrote the foreword to the book and yeah. you've got a very close relationship. What, what was his feedback to you after, after seeing the book and what, what is the relationship like between you two? It obviously looks great from the outside, yeah. but how does it work? Yeah, I, Wow! So he was really happy with it. Um, uh, I think um, uh, it's always written in the context of how it was. If that makes sense, we didn't change or added anything after. Uh, so it's not that okay that part we take out because it didn't work. No, it's in. So if you read bullshit, it's bullshit. If you read something really good, it's good. And uh, uh, to our relationship, yeah. Uh, what can I say? <laughs> he's he's my football. Mentor is my. Uh, he's the one uh, I learned so much from. He's the one who who gave me the chance to uh, to evolve and to become much become more and more important inside this setup. And uh, I only uh, can speak uh, highly, but a lot of people do. 
I was in Bangkok for the game against Manchester United, so saw firsthand the, the excitement there was from the, from the locals, particularly when Darwin, whenever he yeah. got the ball. What have you made of him? Does having that uh, profile of striker change the way your attack will shape? Does it give you extra options yeah, or better options? Yeah, each player um, will, uh, will influence the attacks in a different way. So Luis is not like Sadio or Harvey is not like Mo or Thiago is not like Milly. That's all fine because uh, as long as we all play with the same direction and where we want to go, we play to create, we play to score. So, and I think uh, um, Darwin is an asset in that, so he's a, he, can, he is and will be a different weapon. When you mention that strength and depth, it does kind of hit home just how much quality. When you, when you mention that strength and depth, the, the, the number of yeah. players you have in just in that area of the field yeah. just underlines what a yeah. kind of scary team you've I, got. The big, the big thing this season and the, I think the most decisive uh, aspect of this season will be how teams use the five subs. Because that will change massively the Premier League. Uh, we're really happy with that because uh, it means that uh, we can play intense from zero <laughs> minute one till minute 95. And how to use the squad is um, how to deal that we play every three days. I think the rule saved football, in my opinion, because if you want to play every three days, this was one of the musts to have. And uh, I'm really happy that the Premier League saw that, that the club saw it. And, um, but I think as well, it, it, is, a, it is a weapon. Yeah. Just two more questions. Um, following on from that, in a way, the World Cup as well, you're yeah. going to be playing. I know you're used to playing intense football in England, but as you alluded to, the style you play, the extra substitutions, that's going to really yeah. help in this period. And I mean, have you even had to been able to think about what the winter will look like and how you will adapt with the players leaving, coming back? And Yeah, so in the book, it will explain really well like uh, how busy we were three three quarters of a year ago how we were already planning this season this this one in terms of where do we go what do we want uh, and uh, we decided to go to uh, Dubai uh, it's close so players can come quickly back so they can prepare quick with the team again and uh, it gives us real time to prepare for the second the second sprint of the season and just finally you've achieved so much at this club the, the club have achieved so much but there's always that little bit more you can get. When you went back through last season, when you read the book, when you when you poured through the details, yeah. was there anything you thought that's what we can improve next season, or is it oh, not yeah. as simple as that? Of course, no. Yeah, we try to improve already, but yeah, of course, because if you the the the, the good thing of the book was as well that it, uh, it 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 made things much more clear in my head because I was constantly writing the things down, how it happened, why it happened, what can we do different, blah blah. So. I really, um, I was really happy with that. It gave me more and better feedback to the players, to the, to Jurgen. So it really helped in that way. And yeah, we knew we know where we want to improve, and we are we worked really hard already pre-season to improve. So yeah, congratulations. Top. Thanks.